I'm Dr. Joe Nemeth. I'm a periodontist in Southfield, Michigan. And uh, as I mentioned the other day, I want to talk a little bit about mouthwashes, particularly uh, actually using bleach as a mouthwash. Regular household bleach, like Clorox bleach, it sounds like uh, an anomaly. It sounds like something bizarre, unusual, that no one would ever do. But studies are actually showing that the right amount of bleach diluted can be very effective in killing the bacteria that cause periodontal disease or gum disease. One study showed that out of 1,200 periodontal pockets or gum pockets, 38% of them were bleeding. But after three months of using the bleach rinse, only 9% of those pockets were still bleeding whereas the ones that did not use that rinse still had the same amount of pockets bleeding. In fact, I think they actually increased a bit. Actually, the way you have to do it is very important. So you use, ideally, if one is doing this, you use one teaspoon for eight ounces of water. You rinse for 30 seconds, or you can put it in a water irrigating device like a water pick and use it that way, which I think is even more effective. Are there risks? Yes, I think there are some. First of all, you do not want to swallow it because if you swallow it, it actually can be very irritating and burn the lining of your stomach and your esophagus. Um, also, if you have a tendency towards hypertension or high blood pressure, there have been some studies that show that killing the bacteria in the mouth as, a, as effectively as bleach does, and also chlorhexidine, which is another very strong kind of mouthwash, killing some of these bacteria are actually harmful to blood pressure. In other words, some of them are beneficial bacteria related to your blood pressure. Most of the time, there's no significant effect, but if one has significant high blood pressure or hypertension, uh, one should proceed with caution when using uh, bleach or hexachlorophene. In fact, I would check your blood pressure before you start using it, and then once you start using it, check it again, and if you find it's being elevated, I would discontinue using it. Use it two to three times a week. The studies show if you use it two to three times a week at the dilution that I just suggested, it can be very, very effective in stopping bleeding killing the bacteria and helping to shrink the pockets that trap the bacteria that cause gum disease. So we do very frequently recommend bleach, not for everyone, not all the time, every case is different, but as strange as it sounds, a number of studies have shown that using bleach the right way in the right proportion can actually help control gum disease and kill those bacteria that may be responsible for it. So take care of your mouth. Your mouth is a key to good health for your whole body. Remember your mouth healthy, you will be healthier. Take care of yourself, comments, questions, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'd love to hear from you. Have a really good day. Restore your smile and your health. Visit drnemeth.com to schedule your appointment today.